how many of us want to be happy everybody how many of us want to be successful again everyone how many of us want peace of mind everybody in the hall there is a script written within us that is inspiring us to move further to progress higher to lift ourselves to greater performance and greater success we all have this urge which tells us i have not yet done what i wish to do so the desire for progress is common to all of us this progress is the cause for human kinds ever increasing frontiers of achievement in the year 1900 the world record for high jump was 6 feet 2 inches at that time people felt nobody can jump beyond 7 feet height however in 1952 there was a person called fosbury he relooked this instead of doing the regular jump which is the feet first and the head afterwards he said i'll take my head and chest first and the feet will follow he called it the fosbury flip people said impossible what is he talking about this will be the fosbury flop in other words it will be a flop show nevertheless he succeeded and finally in the olympics in mexico he broke the world record subsequently today the world record for high jump stands at 8 feet and 3/4 of an inch where it was and where it is today in the same way the world record for pole vault in 1900 was 13 plus feet and people said nobody can vault more than 15 feet but then somebody said that instead of having metal rods we will use carbide rods and the consequence was that today the world record for pole vault has crossed 20 feet now we all know the first two men who scaled mount everest Edmund Hillary and Sherpa Tenzing this was in the year 1953 what most people don't know is that Edmund Hillary made an attempt on Mount Everest in 1952 as well and he failed the british mountaineering association came to know of his effort trying to climb mount everest so they arranged a meeting and they invited him to it as the chief guest on the dais was a picture of mount everest so edmund hillary was invited to speak he went up to the picture of everest and showed it his fist and said mount everest you defeated me last year this year i will defeat you because you have stopped growing while i am still growing now this is in the physical arena in the case of inward growth as well our inner urge pushes us to become better to keep on improving so this urge to grow to improve to become better to perform better to feel better how do we fulfill it how do we utilize it how do we bring about a change in our lives go back 15 years ago and then you made certain decisions 
whether to become an engineer or a doctor or an accountant, whether to do business or to do service, whether to get married or not to do so, these decisions that you made brought you to where you are today. And the decisions you make today will lead you to where you will be 15 years from today. In other words, the flow and direction of our life is determined by these decisions that we keep making. Some decisions can be changed. You purchased a wrong house and you sold it off. Some decisions you cannot change, you can only regret. However, if we wish to transform ourselves, to improve the quality of our life, to enrich ourselves with wonderful qualities from within, we need to harness the power of decision making. Just decide, today will be the day when I'll begin this process of self-transformation. I will no longer compromise with myself. I will live my life to my highest ideals. You may say, Swamiji, is it so simple? I just decide and it happens? Not really. The intensity of the decision is very important. There is one kind of wishy-washy decision. Like somebody said, it is not difficult to give up drinking. I give up drinking every day, but then I start again. There is one that kind of decision. And there is another kind of decision. There was Alexander, when he was conquering and coming all the way to India. When along with his army, he would land on a new shore. He would burn the boats and say, we are here now, either we succeed or we die. It was a commitment. So if you wish to succeed in the journey of self-transformation, you need to make a decision and commit yourself to it. I just have one word for my experience of this retreat and it's priceless.